Hello, my name is Jessica Montone. I am a sophomore undergraduate from Levy Lab at the University of Pittsburgh. The topic of my presentation today is nanomechanical probes of sketched lanthanum aluminate strontium titanate single electron transistors. In our lab, we probe the properties of various nanostructures on LAOSTO. These include quantum point contacts, field effect transistors, and single electron transistors. In a sketched single electron transistor, or sketch set, electrons tunnel between source and drain electrodes through a conducting island or quantum dot about 1.5 nanometers in diameter. We can control the carrier density of these structures using an AFM tip bias, and we have observed that some of the most interesting properties of these structures occur at low temperatures. Like many of the other nanostructures in our lab, we can create them using conducting AFM lithography techniques by writing wires across gold electrodes on LEOSTO. So by applying a positive tip bias, we can bring protons to the surface, which attract electrons at the interface, making the structure conductive. In a similar manner, we can apply a negative tip bias to erase protons at the surface, making the structure insulating again. Some properties of sketch sets include high sensitivity charge detection at the nanoscale. In addition to this, we can establish an additional level of control over these devices using scanning probe microscopy to switch their ferroelectric-like polarization. This allows us to switch the source drain conductance between on and off states. So here you can see in the forward sweep direction, electrons tunnel through the quantum dot, but when this polarization is reversed, the potential of the quantum dot is changed and this flow is disrupted. Also with sketch sets, we can interact with an array of them using a multi-tip assembly. and there exists the potential for coupling between strain on the quantum dot and carrier density because the material on which they're written is piezoelectric. Some applications for sketch sets include measuring charge and displacement simultaneously at the nanoscale. They also may be able to be integrated with silicon for use in nanoscale memory storage and they possess the potential for use in quantum simulation. So if the devices are replicated as arrays, they may be able to form the building blocks for quantum dot-based information processing. This was discussed earlier in another talk by Megan Kirkendall from our lab. So here you can see a schematic of how we create sketch sets using our AFM lithography techniques. This is again utilizing the metal insulator transition on LEOSTO to write nanowires. So first two intersecting wires are written across gold electrodes on LEOSTO and then a brief negative pulse is applied at the intersection of the wires to erase a small portion of the wires. And then this is followed by a positive pulse, which creates the quantum dot at the intersection. So here you can see the negative pulse and then the positive pulse. So there are many established capabilities for AFM with characterization, aside from scanning and topography. So the first, which we have discussed earlier, is our voltage gating, in which a bias is applied between the AFM tip and LEOSTO. 
Another type of characterization includes magnetic force microscopy in which a polarized tip is used to image magnetic structures on the surface of LELSTO and also piezoelectric force microscopy. And we have found that PFM signal is linearly related to carrier density. So we believe that we can apply the inverse of this concept to instead use a force gate to control carrier density. And this is what we want to study in sketch sets. The challenge that comes up with that is that we would need to probe them at low temperatures. So in order to do this, we use our low temperature AFM system, which is still in development. But here you can see it was originally a commercial vacuum AFM, which was converted to a cryogenic system. So this involves a sealed pulse tube assembly, which sits directly behind the AFM. And this can reach about 10 Kelvin base temperatures. Extending out from this pulse tube, we have a cold finger, which goes into the AFM chamber. And then extending out from that, we have a flexible link piece, which is involved in cooling the sample. So that piece attaches directly below the chip carrier. So then this brings the sample to low temperatures over which the AFM is mounted directly above it. So then this is how we would take low temperature measurements. With the system, we have completed multiple tests and experiments performing regular AFM operations at low temperatures. We have two sets of bellows that are coupled to the pulse tube setup, which dampen vibrations in the system. So here, this is a room temperature scan of gold bars on LAOSTO. And afterwards, with the pulse tube turned on at a base temperature of around 12 Kelvin, you can see that there are very small vibrations but even with these, we can establish a resolution of about five nanometers performing regular operations. So we have established a procedure for our initial characterization of nanostructures using this low temperature AFM system. These are the first low temperature transport measurements that have ever been taken in this system. So with our procedure, we write a nanowire device in a different AFM and then transfer it to our low temperature system to bring it down to base temperature. Then we use our voltage gating technique to scan over the nanowire with either a positive or negative tip bias. And then we try to image the nanowire while altering this conductance. And these are our first attempts at performing characterization in this new system. So to conclude, we use our cryogenic AFM system to study sketch sets on LAOSTO at low temperatures. We want to use AFM to probe piezoelectric properties of these devices to obtain improved control over them as well as the state of the quantum dot. And this can be interesting because we'll have various potential applications such as nanoscale memory storage and quantum computation. Thank you.